Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I just want to do another short video on my experience taking the MCAT. So I've taken the MCAT just one time and I plan on taking it again just to see if I can get a better score. And so really what this video is going to be about is what to expect the day of the MCAT because I feel like a lot of people get nervous not knowing what to expect when you get to the testing center. And so this video is really to help alleviate that stress so that you know exactly what to do when you get to the testing center. And so first, a word of caution. If you haven't taken the MCAT yet, a good indicator on whether you're ready or not is the AAMC practice exams. And I'm talking about the full length exams. My MCAT score was about one point above what I got on the AAMC practice exam. So that is the best indicator on whether you are ready or not. So if you're not happy with the scores that you're getting on your practice exams, then you're going to want to postpone your MCAT test date because chances are you're going to get a relatively similar score to that of your AAMC practice exams. So when it's test day, you're going to wake up and you're probably going to be a little bit anxious. Um, that's completely normal. It's actually probably abnormal if you're not a little bit nervous. Um, but those are good nerves. Um, they're going to help you focus a little bit better while you're taking the test. And so basically when you get to the testing center, you're going to check in with the receptionist. They're going to ask you for your photo ID. They're going to ask you to put all of your belongings into a locker, including your phone. You're not allowed to take in anything into the testing room. And so you'll sit down at a desk. It's probably going to be a cubicle. There's going to be noise canceling headphones that you can use. So if little noises bug you, then you can always use those headphones. And so once you sit down, your proctor is going to log in. There's going to be a few demographic questions that just are for the AAMC's knowledge. You'll probably have to answer your ethnicity, um, your age, how long you studied for the MCAT, and just a few other questions. And once you finish with that questionnaire, you're going to be able to start the exam. So the exam takes about seven and a half hours, and that may seem like a lot of time, but surprisingly, you're going to be crunched on time during each individual section. Now, my personal experience, I felt like I had enough time for the chemistry and physics section, the biology section, and the psychology section. The one section that I really had to rush at the end was the cars section. And I feel like that's normal for most people. Now, I'm not going to really go into strategies for actually taking the test. I just wanted to explain how the day of the test works. And so on the day of the test, you're going to be able to get three breaks. You're going to get a short break after the first section. You're going to get a lunch break, which is a little bit longer after the first two sections. So halfway through the test. And then after the third section, you'll get another um, like 10 minute break. And so upon completing the test, there's gonna be this really intimidating screen that comes up on your uh, computer screen. And it's gonna ask you if you want the test that you just took to be graded or if you want it to be thrown out. And yes, they give you this option. So if you feel like you didn't do well, you don't have to have your test graded and it will not be counted against you. But let me ease your minds. Everyone feels like they did terrible. So if you feel like you didn't do very good after your test, that is pretty much how everyone else feels. I would say just go ahead and get your test scored. And the only reason you would probably not want your test to be scored is if you had to guess at the end of several sections. And I'm talking about guessing like five to 10 questions each section. So if you didn't have to guess on very many questions and you weren't crunched on time, then go ahead and get your test scored. So after you're completely done with the questionnaire, the test, and the screen that asks if you want your test scored, you'll just raise your hand, the proctor will come log you out, and you are good to go. Now after the test, I would suggest just going out and celebrating with your friends and family. You finally did it. 
You put in all this effort and time studying for this one test. So just go and enjoy the moment because the MCAT is done. So your MCAT results will come in about a month. Um, you'll get an email and then you can just log in and you'll see your score um, on the AAMC's website. And so hopefully you did really well, but if you didn't, it's not a big deal. You can take the test again. So guys, in a nutshell, that's pretty much how MCAT test day goes. Um, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. Um, I'll get back to you. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Give this video a like because it helps me out. And if you haven't seen any of my other videos, just know that we have a Facebook group. It's called Med School Mentor, um, and it's where you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Um, it's a personal experience, and I help you with the whole med school application process. So if you feel a little overwhelmed with the process, um, if you're just getting started, if you're a freshman or sophomore in college, I help guide you on which classes to begin with. And if you're a little more advanced, if you're a junior or senior in college and you're about ready to take the MCAT, if you're about to graduate, I help with med school applications. Um, I give you advice on extracurricular activities and much more. And you can find all of that on our Facebook group and our Facebook page. Again, it's Med School Mentor on Facebook. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to hearing from you down in the comments below. And I will catch you guys later.